Welcome to Learning Buys. We're covering seven peak performance practices that I've gleaned from being a high performance coach, having studied under Brendan Burchard and doing his high performance habits. What I want to cover off today is productivity. When we look at productivity, productivity is getting more done with less time or the same amount of time that you have in front of you. The key thing inside of being productive is being productive in the things that matter most. I think it was Stephen Covey who said that one of the greatest sadnesses he had ever seen in his life is when people get to the top of the ladder of success only to discover it's leaning against the wrong wall. When you're productive, you've got to be productive in the things that actually matter. The clearer you are on what matters to you, the easier it becomes to, to look at what you need to do to advance forward in those areas. And when you know that, you can then start to get insanely good at the key core skills that you need to make that happen. I know for me personally that the attitude about being productive changed my life. When I left school, I had been a bit of a cruiser at school. I had kind of done enough to get by. And then I had to go and actually work for a living. And as it was, I didn't know what I wanted to do and landed up doing a trainee production management role. And there I was, a young kid inside a factory filled with men who are old enough to be my dad and my granddad. And I decided there and then that if I was gonna make a go of my life, if I was actually gonna do something meaningful, I was gonna to need to be able to prove to myself and to the people I was surrounded with that I could actually participate to the level that was required. So I resolved within myself that I wouldn't move on from a station where I was being taught until I was as good, if not better, than the person who was training me. It took me a lot longer to get through each station, but because I got really good at what I was doing, it helped me to understand how to do a procedure, but also it earned me the respect of all the people I was working with. So by the time I got to management, which is what I had been training towards, I got there with a level of respect and trust from the people I was working with. Are you clear? on what skill sets you need in your life to be productive in the areas that matter the most to you. When you understand that it requires skills to maximize whether it's your time, your opportunities, your resources, it can help you to start to focus on what's gonna give you the best return on invested time, the best return on your investment into whatever you commit yourself towards. Some questions for you. How do you ensure you're focused on the most important activities and areas in your life? How do you measure your productivity in these areas that matter? And are you using your time and skills productively to achieve the things that are important to you? Some actions for you. Take some time to identify what really is important to you and what skill sets you could benefit from to be more productive in those chosen areas where you want to excel. Review your calendar and ensure that you're allocating the time and resources that you need towards these core areas, both in terms of improving yourself and in terms of dedicating enough time and resources towards achieving results in those areas that matter. Work diligently in those areas, be focused and give it, go all in when you're working in an area and measure your results, measure your outputs to see how you're progressing and where you can improve. As you do this, you'll discover that your productivity doesn't just trend upwards, but it can accelerate upwards. Here's to your success. Thanks so much for watching. If any of this resonated and you'd like to reach out, feel free to give me a call on 0272 987 523 or email me at mike at thinkright.co.nz or if you'd like some additional resources, go to our website www.thinkright.co.nz